Help, please. Okay, here we are going to divide these two rational expressions, and the key for this is to use the rule of exponents. And I see that you flipped the second fraction already, because when you divide a fraction, it's the same as multiplied by the reciprocal of the second one. So, good. And now let's see how to continue from here. Right here, this right here, let's just keep it. 7a to the negative 5b squared over, right here we'll just keep it the same too. Although you could like, work this out a little bit, but right here I'm really going to just change the division to a multiplication and then flip the second one. So I put this up, which is 4a negative 1b, and I put this down, which is 21a negative 3b squared. Now, we are going to do one part at a time. Firstly, can we do anything right here? No, especially the 7 is just 7. Negative exponent, I will tell you to keep it for now. Likewise, this also keep it. So, we have 7a negative 5b squared. Now over, right here, we have this parentheses raised to the third power. What can we do? Well. I'm going to write down the first rule of exponents that we are going to use for this video here. Note, let's say we have two different bases, even though it has three things, but let me just put on the formula as one, we have two. When we have two things, let's say a, b raised to some power, let's say n, if they are just multiplying inside, we can just distribute the power. This is the same as a to the n times b to the n. That's okay. When we have three things, we can do it to three of them. A, B, C, same thing. The second thing that we need is, notice how we have an exponent here already, and then another exponent, right? So we need the following. Let's say we have some base B inside, and then raised to some number M, and then raised to the nth power. We usually call this the power to a power rule. What we are going to do is, kind of distribute the power. You are going to multiply them. So this is b to the m times n. So these are the two things that we have to do simultaneously for that little part. Here we go. We have negative 2 and then just put a street right here. First though, negative 2 to the third power means we have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So the result is still going to be negative. 2 times 2 times 2. I'm going to follow the direction that you have on the worksheet. We are going to keep it as the prime factor. So even though I know 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, but I'm going to write it as the third power here. So negative 2 to the third power is negative 2 to the third power, like that. Next, a to the third power and then the third power, we are going to use this even though I put down the formula right here for base b, but same idea. We have to multiply the exponents. a, 3 and 3, we multiply them, which will get 9. Just real quick, a to the third power to the third power is a 3 times 3, and that's how we end up with a to the ninth power. And in fact, this is right here, you can prove it real quick, because what this means is you do this times this times this, a to the third power, a to the third power, a to the third power, because we have the third power. So this right here, we have a times a times a. Likewise, three more. Likewise, three more. And they are all multiplying. So how many a's do we have? Nine of them. But don't do it like this every single time. It takes too long. Notice right here. Lastly, b to the third power, distribute the power, so we have just b to the third power. Done with that part. Continue, we have the little baby x for multiplication. 4, it's the same as 2 times 2, so let's write it down like this. a to the negative 1, keep it. b is still b, keep that. 21 is 3 times 7. So I'm going to use the little dot right here inside, 3 times 7. Make sure it's not 3 to the 7th power, it's just 3 times 7. And then right here, cannot do anything else, just keep that. Yep. Next, what we are going to do is, 
when we are multiplying fractions, we can just multiply the top and top together and over the bottom times bottom. Let's do that right here. I know we can also cross cancel, but I think if we just look at the tops first and then the bottoms together, I think it might be easier. So let's do that right here. So first, we have 7 times 2 to the 2. I'm just going to put them together. So this is 2 to the 2 times 7. Now, a to the negative 5 times a to the negative 1. How do we work out the exponent? Well, continue with the rule of exponents. If we have the same base, let's say b, this is just a formula, to some power m times b, notice we have the same base, but to a power right here, let's say n, all we are going to do is just add the powers together. This right here is b to the m plus n. So when we are looking at a to the negative 5 times a to the negative 1, we have to add the exponents. So let's do that. a to the negative 5 times a to the negative 1. We have to add the exponents. Keep the base a. Negative 5 plus negative 1. That's the same as negative 5 minus 1, which we will get a to the negative 6. So that's coming up next. OK, next, b squared. And this is like b to the first power, even though it was not written. But you have to remember, that means power 1. So b to the second times b to the first, we add the powers. So that will be b to the third power. And then over, I'm just going to multiply the numbers right here. Just keep them. Do not really multiply them out. I'm going to write it as negative 2 to the third times 3 times 7. When you have numbers, you should put a dot in between to represent multiplication. But when you have variables, it's OK to just, you know, just put them together. Anyways, next up we have a to the 9 times a to the negative 3 because they are both on the bottom. Let's have a look. a to the 9 times a to the negative 3. Keep the base a, add the exponents, 9 plus negative 3. This is like 9 minus 3, which is just 6. So this and that gives us a to the positive 6. Now, b to the third times b squared, we can just add the 3 and 2 together. That will be b to the 5. Whew. I know, we have done a lot already. Just one more last part, and then we'll be really done. All right? Now. The last part is that we are going to kind of divide the top by bottom. And to do so, the crucial part is this rule of exponents. If we have b to some power m divided by b to some power n, what we are going to do is subtract the exponents. You have to remember, it's the top one minus the bottom one. So that's b to the m minus n, that. Now, let's just go ahead. Take this and bring it to here. Firstly, though, let's have a look. We have 2 to the 2, and this is 2 to the third. You can subtract the power, right? Let's do that. So that's 2 to the second over 2 to the third. That's you keep the 2, but you do 2 minus 3, which we will get 2 to the negative 1. We have a negative. Let's just bring that down right here first. This and that simplifies to 2 to the negative 1. Continue. 7 and 7, well, they cancel. When you are multiplying, you see the common factor you can cancel. We have one more 3 on the bottom. Just keep that. So I'm going to have the 3 on the bottom like this. Now, I'm actually going to write it like this. Now, we have a to the negative 6 over a to the 6. So let's see, a to the negative 6 over a to the 6. Remember, we're using this rule of exponent. Keep the a, top exponent, which is negative 6, minus the bottom exponent, which is the 6. Negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. 
So I'm going to put that right here, a to the negative 12. Lastly, we have b to the third, b to the negative 5, b to the third, b to the Next, we have b to the third over b to the five. So that's b to the three minus five, and three minus five is negative two. So we will have b to the negative two. Okay, notice I have the three on the bottom right here already. Now, here's one more part that we will have to do. Notice they all have negative exponents. So we will have to bring them down to the denominator. And that is this rule right here. Note that if you have b to the negative n, this right here gives us 1 over b to the positive n. So let's have a look. This is just like a negative 1. That stays on the top. So let's put a negative 1 like this, right? Because this is like negative 1 times this times this times that over 3. OK, 2 to the negative 1, bring that down. That's 2 to the positive 1 times this 3 from here already, and then bring this down to the bottom, that's a to the positive 12, and then bring this down to the bottom as well, that's b squared. And we are almost done, I promise. Because 2 to the 1 is 2, times 3 is 6. So the final answer is we have negative 1 over, this right here is just 6, this is my 6, and then a to the 12, b to the second, this right here, is it. I know this is the long one, especially if you're doing this for the very first time, if, or if you're just learning about rule of exponents. This kind of questions, they are not easy. They are very confusing at some time. Make sure you just practice that. I would recommend you to write down this question again on a blank sheet of paper, and without looking at the video, without looking at your notes, try to do this question again. And let's see if you can do it 100% on your own or not. If you can do it, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Hope this right here helps. Best of luck in your math class. That's it.